morning, Post and Road Tigers. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, September 30th, 2019. Your lunch choices for today are nachos with taco meat and cheese or taco salad with cucumber slices, refried beans and cheese, steamed carrots, and mandarin oranges. Happy birthday today to Lucas Holloway. Lucas, I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to come down to the office for your birthday surprise. This is our last day of September, boys and girls, so we are going to be tallying up those um, attendance rates, and we will see if we are the winner of the attendance challenge between Smith, South, and Poston to see if Pineapple Pete will be bringing uh, us treats and visiting. So hopefully he will, but we'll see after today. Uh, I've got some Pound the Playground winners. Let's see here, they're going to be winning soccer balls today. So if I call your name after announcements, come on down and get your prize. Congratulations to Jersey Andrews, Trenton Dow, Madeline S. from Mrs. Brown in Senora Fox's room, Owen C. from Senora Fox in Mrs. Brown's room, Silas Gear, and Hunter Minardo. So congratulations to you six. And again, come on down after announcements. Boys and girls, on Thursday it is our e-learning day. You will not be coming to school on Thursday. We will have parent-teacher conferences instead. So in your classrooms, your teachers should be talking to you about their expectations for Thursday and getting you ready. Fourth graders, fourth graders only, you will be allowed to take home your Chromebooks. So we need to make sure that they are charged and ready to go on Wednesday before you leave. We're going to talk about education today for our words of wisdom. Archbishop, <coughs> excuse me, Archbishop Patrick Flores in C of C <sighs> Let me start over. Archbishop Patrick Flores of San Antonio, Texas understands what it means to be raised in a poor home. His childhood home didn't have electricity or running water. As a child, he was not allowed into certain restaurants, theaters, or swimming pools because he was Mexican-American. But he overcame the problems he faced in his childhood and became a powerful man who did many good things for America. Now listen to what Archbishop Flores has to say to you today. Through education and hard work, you can create a better life. Remember this, if you study hard and stay in school, you can open doors to a better tomorrow. That's how Archbishop Flores did it. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Vulcan. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Boys and girls, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Have a great day, everyone.